Okay. So I'm gonna do, do something like, What's going on my- That's not it. What's going on my fellow- Flea, can I speak? What's going on my fellow Gongboos and welcome to the Gongbu Gang Podcast. I am your host, Bert, and with me, I have... Up here. <laughs> and welcome to the first episode of the Gongbu Gang Podcast. So, a, a little bit of introductions. Uh, Chef and I, we used to play Smash together. Uh, we, that's pretty much all we did. And then later on, we played more games to each other. And then we saw, we saw some people that was uh, the starting podcast themselves because we also had a bigger friend group that played smash and then they're like that the chef and i were like that's a that sounds like a fun idea why don't we start a podcast ourselves so now we're we're all here and get ready to you know t- talk about some random stuff that we have in mind because we can just we can yap for like years yeah years pretty much years. and you'll see you'll see why with with this very first episode so hopefully you guys will find this very entertaining i'm i'm really excited to make this and Hopefully you, you guys enjoyed. On to the enjoy. On to the first topic. Well, let's get right into it. Before we get to the first topic, I just want to point out that we had a little technical difficulties in the video, so there will be some cutting in the podcast and lots of Discord notifications. Yeah, sorry about that. But other than that, enjoy the video. It depends, and, or maybe if I can get a like, schedule change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've already just got your change to that, so. Kind of. I yeah. don't know. Well, well, I'm talking about like, uh, like time, not weekends or mm. offs. Oh yeah. Who knows? Maybe you'll be sick one of the days too. So. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. I'm I'm trying to make it so I just get, I can instead of getting three to twelve, I get, what like one to ten. That'd be that would that'd be better. One to ten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still like a wait. It's still it's still like late, but two extra hours of. Of stuff I can do, like that's nice. You should just try and do like nine to five. I did nine. I you didn't, would have to get up early. Yeah, but... I didn't. I did do nine to five when I first started. And I was, and I was like, this, this is nice. The only thing is, my favorite, my favorite people are the night shifters. I'm like, okay, well, I want to be with them. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was so funny because, so like I said before, I I get off at like, or I did get off at like, like freaking ten, eleven, right? Mm-hmm. And. When I'm like going to like get my stuff from the locker, I'm just like people are just passing. I'm like good morning, and I'm like, oh uh, yeah, good morning. <laughs> Unless like I've been up for like ten hours. <laughs> oh, you see, like, you, for, for you, so it's for like for them, it's yeah. like good morning. It's like yeah, good morning. Indeed. Yeah, they just woke up, and I'm like, yeah, I'm so jealous of you. I wish <laughs> I've been sleeping this whole time. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, Peace. yeah. Good night. Good morning. Well, like good night, cause. I would try and get out as fast as possible so they can't be like, yo, you want to stay longer? <laughs> like, no. Freak that, bro. No. Yeah, I mean, do they ever ask you to stay, like, or, like, do they ever ask you to work more or no? I hang your days off? Nope. Never. Not yet. Damn. I think <laughs> you have, like, a good amount to survive, <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I was I told guess... apparently the morning workers uh-huh. are... Are uh, ruthless apparently ruthless. compared to us. I don't not ruthless, but like worse. So, worse. so, so you're supposed to be flexible with your time. So, like, if you're told to mm-hmm. like take your lunch, like thirty minutes or maybe like an hour later, that like like I'm like okay, I'll do that because usually I take my my lunch an hour later. It's mm-hmm. at seven. I take it at eight because I have to close off the self checkout. I'm like okay, I can do that. If but the morning workers are like no. If it's if my lunch is at nine i'm going at nine and they just leave <laughs> they'll take they'll probably take a two hour lunch and then and then like two hour lunch. yeah or the, maybe the break it's 15 minute break they'll probably take a longer mm-hmm. break too and they get pissed i'm like yeah and it's and that's another reason why i'm the night shift i guess <laughs> dude i just didn't take my lunch or my break you didn't you didn't take it do you just get do you just take like a well because this is how mine works i couldn't leave like couldn't leave <laughs> Until oh bless you bless you bless you, bless you. <laughs> I, I couldn't leave until all the work was done, so I was like, I'm just gonna do whatever I can to get this done as fast as possible, so I don't have to stay any extra longer. Because they're like, oh, do you want to take a break or something? And I'm like, no, because that means I'm gonna be leaving <laughs> 30 minutes later. 
<laughs> so I'm just like literally there the whole time. Yeah. So it's like, are you tired? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I I don't take a break either. I'll just, I'll just give myself like a longer lunch. Mhm. Mm yeah. I mean, are your lunches paid or no? Or your breaks? One of them. Yeah. The my 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 breaks are paid. Lunches too or no? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say that'd be crazy if you got your lunches paid because we did not. Yeah, I don't think any no, lunches are paid because it. Yeah. Do you have to like, clock out or something when you go to lunch? Uh, you mean you were supposed to? I sometimes did, but honestly, I just, I just all like I did it all at the end of the day. Like I just put in the time that I left, and then put in the time I went back in. Oh, okay. So I was like, if I left at like six thirty then I just like not do it and then just remember I went back in at seven and then just change it like when I'm leaving. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I have to like go on the phone and say start meal end meal. By oh meal. yeah. And if something goes wrong you could fix it but they kind of get mad at you if you if they if you fix it or they don't they'll be like why are you fixing it? I'm like oh, I don't know I, I, I did it wrong and you're like you don't do that. I'm like oh okay okay. Oh well, really? I never, I never had that problem but a lot of people did and yeah. they, they got they got yelled at first I'm like, okay, yeah i I'll just did it. it i just did it whenever i wanted to be honest <laughs> i mean i got i got in trouble because i don't know if like you guys had a thing where you were like supposed to like go into some app like when you first got there like just like like just to like do quizzes or anything but we had to do that at fred myers right mm -hmm. there was like a special app to train before you do the work but i just like never did it <laughs> so like every time i go into work they're like yo are you gonna do the app today i'm like yeah yeah when i leave <laughs> it does I not never do went. it. That's I'm, I'm like I'm too tired to do it now, but I'm like I'm not gonna do it when I get there because it's wasting time. So I'm just, I'm just I just never did it, and they got really mad at me. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that. <laughs> and, and like even Eventually. when you even when you quit, you just never you still never did it. No, I did it like the day before. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, even though there's really no reason, but oh well. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is your, like, drive long to get to work or no? No, it's, like, what, like, like, 10 to 15 minutes, depending if there's, like, traffic okay. or anything. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's, it's probably pretty close in terms of anchorage. But... Yeah. Pretty much that, so. yeah. But traffic is a thing. I, I could definitely have, like, a closer... Walmart, because I I because I'm I do live close to a different Walmart, but I hate that Walmart because I freaking get a Walmart and I'm I'm not gonna. I think another one you're probably talking about. Yes, that one, bro. Homeless was... people and like, just it just is get. It just this is freaky good. stores, dude. Yeah, I I can't remember the store, but like there was one that's like a fast, like I'm, I'm one of those chains like in Anchorage, and like you just go there and like you just see people like walking around all the time. I I just saw some dude throwing up on like the side of the road. I'm just like, damn, this looks a rough. He's, he's, he's popping off there. He's having, he's having a bad like rough story. Yeah. <laughs> this looks all beat up. I don't know. Like, I'm not going in there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's the nicest, like, story, do you think? The nicest without story? Without being paid. What do you mean, nicest story without being paid? Like, you're, like, you know, if he's, you're, like, representing Walmart, but... No bias, no bias. The nicest store without being paid. Um, Target. He's like, <laughs> Target, yeah. Target's this red Walmart, dude. Yeah, but I, I let, like, I don't know, like, Target, like, the vibe feels better in there. I don't know how to explain it, but the vibe just feels better. Yeah. That was actually one of my choices before Walmart, and they, mm -hmm. they, just, they just didn't take me. I was like, you, I was like, what? Because they're like, so what, 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 what do you think would be good i'm like oh i think i'm good with electronics i think uh, i i can learn to do to, to do work with electronics They're like uh we need someone who's experienced i'm like oh okay bye. <laughs> bye. Did, like did you like consciously choose to do like checkout or did you like just pick one for for walmart yeah i wanted like a lot of options i wanted to do opd but they had no more space, so they're like, okay, the only thing we have left is, is front line. I'm like, the front end. I'm like, oh, okay, and now like, what's OPD? 
OPD is like online shopping. I just do people's oh, online shopping. Yeah. I'm like, that sounds nice. But honestly, I didn't, I hated I hated that like I didn't get OPD, but but now I actually I'm actually glad I didn't get OPD because I really like the friend. Mm-hmm. Every, all my coworkers are like they're so they're so funny. Yeah, you wouldn't be talking to anybody on the online. Yeah, I mean that's what I try to get to. One one of them like he won't, uh um uh, we never really did it yet but he he we literally exchanged friends and we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play some Valorant. <laughs> apparently heck? apparently, apparently he's like he's probably like I think he's like plat diamond. Oh my. Yeah. You gotta you gotta you gotta <laughs> get him on the Smurf. Yeah, get him on the Smurf. He does Smurf too. He does Smurf so. <laughs> He can carry. Yo, us. if he's smurfing, dude, invite we, me to the party. I'll play. Yeah, we we like we we got we gotta go. Yeah. We, this, this is this is Shepard. We need we need <laughs> to make up. I'm in the Gongmu gang. You, <laughs> know? The Gong... <laughs> you know he'll know all about it. I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely, I'm sure you'll tell all your coworkers to watch <laughs> to watch the Gongmu gang. No. Yeah. Oh no. I hope they just find it. That'd be great. What's this? What is this gong again? Did they see me? Did they see me? And I'm like, it's like, what is this? What is this? I'm like, <laughs> I can explain. That ain't me. <laughs> that's, that, yeah, that's not me. My name's not Bert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name's not. I, okay, well, my personality at work is so much different than here. <laughs> I'm like, it? like, I'm like super timid at work. Mm-hmm. I don't talk that much. I mean, like, I'll talk. Like even now. Yeah. I mean, I was I was like that too at the start, but then like, a couple of weeks in, I kind of just went to my normal like personality, <laughs> where it's just like, <laughs> because I was like I was like fine talking to them because they talked a lot. And I was like, yeah, I talked to. Yeah, but like I'm I'm pretty timid, but like if I can if we talk about something, I can I'll talk and then I'll just go back quiet. And I'm like, yep, I don't mm. know that much. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I mean like I would imagine you wouldn't get that much opportunity to talk to people like like front end but I guess it would probably be more towards the end of the day uh yeah and yeah end of the day but also um if you're if you work at self checkout mm-hmm. uh, you could have a partner with you since you're there's two of you you need to work, watch more um people yeah more, more people and I I talk to them I talk to some of them and some of them are pretty cool but also sometimes when they get when it's slow, you can like and there's nobody even at the cash registers, you could just walk out and then just talk a little bit while you're waiting for a customer and clean it a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Do you ever like do you ever catch somebody like this like you think are is stealing or something or no? Uh so usually the people that uh steal is like I'm always I'm always like because the policy is fifteen items or less. And then mm-hmm. they'll, build, they'll sometimes they argue like, no, I do not want, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, hey, but the policy is 59 to let. They're like, no, I can do whatever I want. It's a free country. I'm like, okay. And so, so I have to let them, I have to let them do it. And then some, for some <laughs> reason, there's a miss scan. I'm like, hmm, you didn't scan that one. Can you scan it, please? Okay. <laughs> do they, I mean, like, is anybody been like, nah, I did. <laughs> uh, no, then because it, no. It because there's a camera and it shows them that they didn't scan it. So I'm like, yep, scan it. And what do you mean by like the 15 items or less? Like, you can't have you can't like have 15 like more than 15 like stuff in your cart. Oh, in self checkout. Yeah, self checkout. Oh, that's a thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean we can give little leeway, like probably like 17, maybe 20, as long as your cart is not overflowing with with crap like yeah. we we can let you in but like, like but if it's like if it's like some stuff like we can we can let that slide it's not that bad yeah probably if it's like a lot of little like cooking stuff too it's like cans or something yeah you know? that, that's not bad and but also like when i mean i like but also there's like stuff where like um if you have like 20 boxes or 20 like i don't know what they are bags or boxes of water water bottles like we can mm-hmm. we can let that slide. It's it's because it's like twenty of the same same item. That's fine. It's it, it shouldn't mm. be that that hard to to uh, miscan. And also we have phones. Where is my? 
well, we have phones that like check and checks if um if everything's scanned correctly. So, you have your phone with you? Yeah, it's a, yeah my work phone. It's all oh, things all over. Wait, there. you literally got a work phone? Yeah, you want you want to see it? I'm, I'm gonna show it. <laughs> That's crazy. What the hell? It's got a completely different phone. That's. That's interesting. He's about to bring out like the new iPhone 16. So yeah, here. I was, I was saying you're about to bring out the new iPhone 16. And all right, like I did, I did the little I know the iPhone 16. So we just have we have this phone, and then uh -huh. the password is one of my my stuff, and then I thought you're just gonna be like the password is this. <laughs> this, this is my password. And you can so. <laughs> with my camera so yeah, this is the walmart thing where i can i can log like log in and stuff and then this is where i could do most all the self checkout stuff and i just and then i just walk around with this and hopefully help out with the stuff and then if if i have to go if someone if someone's arguing in discord i can just also put out my other phone and then just go like this <laughs> oh to like pretend like you're doing something yeah pretty much Hopefully, no, hopefully no one sees that and you're like, you're doing what? I'm like, uh, that's not You're on Discord. <laughs> well, for us, right, like we had to take our earphones off at a certain time, mm -hmm. like before when the store opens. But okay. like I have hair to cover it. I just <laughs> never took it off. Stra Strawberry does that too. He he says like yeah. I have long hair, so I can I can still listen to music. I mean, yeah, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. I can listen to it at all times so i asked and they're like do you yeah, wear like earphones or do you just have like wireless airpods mm. so yeah yeah, yeah. I, it's fair. It's fair. oh i do have a, sto a story this literally was what yesterday yeah yesterday this this is crazy so mm -hmm. somebody tried stealing a thousand dollars worth of crap like I'm, in front of you or in front of in general in, in like the whole store in the whole store uh huh so and it was like and you're like but thinking oh like oh maybe it's like a maybe it's like a uh like a small laptop or something no it was like a mat it was like a mattress a giant air purifier a oh tent a giant tent, tent. and you're like, gonna go camping and i'm like how the freak are did they try to do this so apparently what happened was they they had we have because we have our vest our blue vest someone mm -hmm. I, apparently they had a they had a vest probably from midtown <laughs> and then they tried wearing it and using it to get the freak out of the, the store i'm like they probably just ordered one on ebay or something though maybe uh, something Wouldn't be like, that hard yeah something but they had a vest and they tried to leave with thousand dollars worth of stuff i'm like that's crazy. How, like, how close would you say they were? Like, did they actually get out of the store and then somebody was like, "Yo, that's kind of." I think I I think the uh, the people that checked the receipts probably probably uh, caught them mm -hmm. because they were, they saw that thousand dollars worth of stuff and you're like, "Yeah, where's that going?" And you're like, "Oh, we're leaving with it." Like, okay, then did you buy it? Like, no. That's probably that's probably what happened. I don't know, but I just heard some what, like of the story. Like, what happened? Like, oh, they tried stealing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, the craziest thing I've seen, right, is we had, like, a Starbucks across the way, like, in the store, right? Mm -hmm. They, like, they have a Starbucks, like, in there. So, the Starbucks, they had a lot of problems, just, like, in general. Just, like, the coworkers, the food, like, the drinks, every, everything <laughs> is a problem there. Yeah. But they literally, like, right when the store opened, they're, like, even, like, 30 minutes in, they're, like, uh, we're out of stuff to make coffee. And then they had it. They all took their break, and they all like got in the same car to drive to the to the like to the like local like Seven Eleven convenience store, right? And they just had to buy like more stuff from the like from there, <laughs> so they can actually make their coffee. That's I don't know curious. if they're like buying like creamer, like I, I don't know what like they didn't even have the stuff in the store obviously to buy, so they had to do like they had to go to a whole convenience store That's crazy. just to buy something. Well, that's and I was like, "What?" That Seven Eleven really got, got, got their, got their pay. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm like, this is probably why Starbucks kind of sucks. I mean, like, <laughs> in like in store Starbucks, I don't, I don't know how like. Especially, but even like, even like actual building ones. In it. Yeah. I don't. I don't like. I don't know. Like, 
the the logistics of of that of of the of the yeah. the store Starbucks is other than the one that ones inside the stores. Yeah. Oh, have you never seen like an actual like owned no, Starbucks? No, I, I have, but I don't know. Like, I don't, they yeah. my ours really don't really have problems. Like the ones at Target, they they don't really have problems. Uh, yeah, ours ours have problems, <laughs> and they have like beef with the other one that's like in like. So they had beef with the other store that had like a Starbucks in it, like at Safeway. <laughs> beef. And they're like, yeah, they're like, they're so bad over there. They literally have like hair in their drinks. What the heck? But like the coworkers were also not like soup. Like they were not in a place where they could be complaining about another set of coworkers. Yeah, because they're also just as say. bad. <laughs> yeah, like it was kind of like like a Looney Tunes like. <laughs> Like, they were, like, complaining about them while they were getting complained about, like, by every single other department in our store. <laughs> they're just, like, they have no idea what they're doing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And there's some bad vibes over there. Yeah. Like, I'm not going over there. <laughs> maybe maybe, you're, maybe you work at the ghetto Fred Myers. You never know. <laughs> I, I don't know. This, this Fred Myers is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fancy, I guess. Not fancy, but... It's like the only store we have that's like super popular. Okay. Especially now that they're trying to buy Safeway. They don't, we oh, have they a don't... Walmart, but that's in Kenai, which is like a 15 minute drive, 18 minute. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah. But that's where I was thinking of like just applying because I feel like it'd be awkward if I just worked at the Fred Myers again. I don't know if I left on bad juju or not. Left <laughs> bad. Because probably I gave didn't. two weeks, right? Yeah. But. The last day that I was supposed to work, you, yeah, I, you, I had, yeah, I literally just, like, they didn't, they just got rid of all my stuff. I couldn't even, like, get my money. <laughs> so, I was, like, I'm not coming in. I'm literally crossed out on the schedule. I'm just going home. He's going to go home on the last day. I'm just going home. I just, I literally, like, I went in there at 12. I'm just, like, I'm looking at my stuff. I'm, like, oh. <laughs> and then I'm just, like, I'm out. I'm out. And then I joined the VC because you guys were playing. I'm like, hey guys. Hey guys, hey guys, up here. <laughs> and we played uh, whatever that game was. Um, forget what that game was that Law really liked that we played for a bit. But you were the cook. Oh. Um. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Yeah. I can't remember the name. Yeah. But we just played that for like four hours until like four o'clock. And then you went. You went. Didn't you go back to sleep? No, dude, I stayed up till like seven. Because that means you guys were like, all right, I'm really tired. And I'm like, dude, I've literally been sleeping this whole time, guys. Come on, let's keep playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've already been asleep for a whole day. Yeah. And that's when you fix your sleep schedule. Yeah. It felt really good just to be able to, like, sleep in. I don't know if you... Well, actually, it doesn't even matter for you because you literally have, like, so much time you before all you the, go to work. I have all the time in the world to sleep in. But I do want to wake but... up early because... I want to actually yeah. do something with my life before, other than just waking up and going to work. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I, since I had to work, wake up at like 12, right? Mm -hmm. What I would do on my days off is I'd set my alarm clock at 12 just so I could wake up and be like, I don't got to go today. <laughs> and then turn it off and go back to bed. <laughs> like just that feeling of like knowing that you don't have to like go is just great. Yeah, that's that's nice. It's crazy. crazy. It's and th during during my work, it's we already uh -huh. started putting up Halloween stuff, and it's still September. Yeah, that's so that's so weird. Like I, I remember I've like gone to stores and it's like all Halloween, but it's like it doesn't feel like it's gonna be Halloween for like a really long time. But it's like actually like really not far at all. Yeah, I bet by the, the I think by the end of like or when probably like in the middle of October, just just they're gonna start putting up Christmas stuff. I bet. Yeah, are you are you a Halloween? Do you, are you a Halloween enjoyer? Do you any do anything? Uh, I I used to be, but I don't know. I just don't see the appeal in dressing up anymore. I don't know. That, that's I feel like yeah. that that hit better as a kid. Yeah, I don't think I have, in I, a good minute. I mean, some some candies are nice to have at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, what was like the coolest like costume you've done, if there is one? <laughs> I didn't, I think my, I don't think there was, I didn't really have, like, I did, like, typical, like, costume stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm Pikachu, I'm Mario. I remember, if I, Pikachu? Yeah. I. You became a furry? No. <laughs> it was Pikachu. <laughs> He's, He's going around Pika Pika. Pika. Um, 
My favorite one was definitely a ninja, though. Oh, okay. Because okay. I actually Wait, had like which one. What do you mean? Which one? Like, it's, just a, it's just a regular ninja. Like a streamer? Or... N n no, <laughs> just, <laughs> just a regular ninja. Just like bright blue hair. <laughs> bright blue hair. The, the freaking mask. Would you ever dye your hair? Uh, no. No. Oh. No. I, I I think I would like dye my hair. hair. Blonde hair, Bert. Like, no, I would not look good in in blonde. <laughs> no, and maybe if I, I was a girl, because some girls actually look good in like dyed hair. But you not... could do the you could do the roots be dark and then like the rest of your hair be blonde. No, it's I pretty, think that's pretty popular. I like I like my hair just black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fair. But I think for like for me like all the Halloweens, I think I only did like superheroes probably. Like you could do like Spider Man, hey, like I... Ant Man. Spider Man, I love Spider Man. Yeah, do you, you like Ant Man or no? I like Ant Man. I, th I, thought, I, th I thought the first one was really good. Uh, and then yeah, the first one was good. The second one, I thought was okay. It's high. Pretty solid to me. The three. Then I heard the third one's really bad. It is also high. I don't think I don't think was, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's good. <laughs> I think I think okay. it's mid. I think it's mid. I, I think. Did it end? Did it end like Ant Man or no? What do you mean by did it end like Ant Man? <laughs> It's, I don't know actually. I don't know how it ended. So like, was it like a cliffhanger ending? Like yes, pretty yeah, much. Like one of them he got like stuck in like. Uh, oh, oh that's what that's what you mean. Um, it, no, it, it, like... it ended. But like you know how Marvel always does their after after scenes. Uh huh. It end like it ended with the after scenes, with like in the cliffhanger. It was like oh look at okay. this, but it's kind of weird now since the situation with the. <laughs> with the villain, the villain actor, I don't know how this. Oh, going. did he? I, for, he I forgot. I forgot what what happened with him, but I know that's that's okay. that, that's all another story. Gone. He's gone. Yeah. Ant Man's done. Ant Man's done. But for like, like hero movies in general and whatnot, like it feels like DC has been more popular recently, or like this villain too. But DC, like, yeah, I think they have a Joker two coming out, right? Yeah, Joker two is coming out. And Joker, Joker one is not bad. I, I like Joker yeah, one. Yeah, I like Joker one. It was creepy, but it wasn't like those are like the type of horror movies that I like because it's like psychological, but it's not like I don't actually think like it's Joker psychological. It's it's more like you don't think so? I think it's like gory. That's, that's it's, it's just like messed up. Yeah, it's it's like like, dark. It, like it de like you definitely needs like a warning at the front saying like hey, <laughs> this this just as a warning. <laughs> You want... Just like a, be prepared. I mm -hmm. guess. Speaking of scary movies, dude, freaking Coraline. I love Coraline. <laughs> dude, why is there so many people who like Coraline? Because, because okay, it's so totally I cute. hate claymation because everything looks yeah, so freaking true. creepy. But Coraline, Coraline, it's a meant to be creepy. So of course it's gonna be, it's gonna be. I would be fine if it's is, creepy. Well, is it even? Is it claymation? Yeah, it's claymation. I thought it was like yarn. I mean, I guess it's probably a mixture of it, but it is. Yeah, I like it both. That's like the both, like the worst of both worlds. I mean, yarn's fine. <laughs> yarn looks yeah, but yarn's creepy. Not as creepy as well, yarn. Like freaking Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Gromit's fine. That's Gromit's like a Gromit's like a cute little puppy, and then Wallace. Dang, bro, I get. I that's nightmare fuel. I definitely thought he was abusing his dog. I don't even remember what I don't. I never really watched. I just, I just, I just, no, 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 I, I, just I just mean like from the looks just of the looks. character. Like he's so creepy that it looks like he's doing something wrong to the dog. I mean, I think Grom is kind of like the, he's kind of like the mom. I think he takes care of Wallace. Yes, yeah, he does. He does. He's a good boy. For yeah, me. but flush away. That one also freaked the freak out of me, dude. Well, like what? Really getting bad. flushed. <laughs> Like no, dude. Like the main villain, even the main character is kind of creepy. But the like the fat dude, like. I think what really gets me, rat. what really gets me is when they smile. That's when yeah. it gets creepy, because it's like, and like, can you not? Can you not do that? Like no, no, that's no. so creepy. That's like Omega super villain smile, or like a, I'm trying to be like a nice guy, but <laughs> you don't trust that. It's like when when you watch like an anime or a video game, and. When they're oh the kid when they meet and introduce a new character and they they always have the the eyes are closed and they're smiling like you're you yeah, see that's them? aura that's aura right there I mean like you you look at them and like they're evil 
They're going to be evil. Yeah. If they, they don't look evil, but they will be evil later on. <laughs> it's it's just like that. Is no aura aura? Is no aura aura? Yeah. Uh, like honestly, the best like example of this character, I feel like would be like Mob. I mean, he's obviously got aura when he uses power. When he but, has like, his power, but uh, I would I would say there is. It depends on the character. Yeah. Like especially if everybody had an aura, but there's this one dude who just had no aura. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be aura itself, right? Like the the main character in uh, Tokyo Adventures, <laughs> no aura. Oh yeah, no aura. Dude, that guy's got like negative aura. Like it's not like he doesn't have no aura. He's like negative aura, dude. I, I've told you this lots of times. Like, I the only re- reason I would watch it is for the wh- who's that? What's his name? What what's the? Oh, Mikey. Yeah, him. Because he's, because yeah. I, I like, in my opinion, I don't like the freaking character designs. He's like the only character yeah. design that actually looks normal. He literally, I mean, and he's just like a full on gangster, but he's like, I don't know. He's definitely the coolest looking character. That's why everybody likes him. Is he actually like, but is he like personality wise? Is he actually like a likable character though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably like the. Second most likable, in my opinion. Okay. But he, he's all right, and this, the show's got good music. It's just the the plot is a little silly sometimes. <laughs> it's almost like the like it's so bad it's good. Oh. Okay. Like it's like so bad and like kind of laughable that it's just kind of like entertaining because you're like, how how are they gonna get out of this situation? <laughs> and it's just like, bros like got every single bone in his body broken but from the power of willpower <laughs> he's just like i believe and then he's got he's got the aura i guess okay that's, but yeah but that's he can't serious. but he can't fight because all he does is just get beat up yeah they like pull out a bat and crap on him but yeah i guess like speaking of which uh i just finished the demons the recent demon slayer season I, oh, which one is that? The, the, the newest tra- one, right? Yeah, the Hashira training arc. Uh huh. It. I was like, when I was about to watch it, it was like, why is there only eight episodes? Why is it like, am I am I missing something here? And I looked it up, and it was like, yeah, it's just eight episodes. I'm like, oh, okay. And like, weird. I don't like. During it, I like. I I kind of I liked I liked most like not most of it. I didn't like most of it. Some of it was like oh, no. nothing kind of happened. It was like it's a training arc, but he Kanjo didn't really learn that much. <laughs> he like he learned one like one thing, and then like it went straight. And then in the very last episode, I liked the last episode. It was so hype to get to get uh yeah. to get ready for the the three movies that are coming up for the the big epic fights. Though. Three, yeah. Holy be- cow! Yeah, because like so, pretty, I guess it's pretty much, um, it's gonna be one. Like each movie is one specific fight, so like the first movie oh. is gonna be like two people fighting one, and then yeah, go on. Yeah, I I haven't seen the new season. I saw the the one before, but I I've read the manga, and I I think I remember that part not being too remarkable from what I remember. <laughs> not yeah, not nothing, not a lot happened, but yeah. But this like I think this like I think the next few movies I think it should be like set up pretty well. Yeah, it was. Like yeah, the fi- the final episode really like, did like a, like put like hype into the to the movie set. So I I can't wait to watch it. It's probably gonna be like the movie this year, and then like the next two are gonna be like next year probably. Have you ever seen like an anime movie in theaters? Um, yes, it was yeah. Weathering with You. Oh, I'm so jealous! I'd want to watch that one. Yeah, I thought you. Yeah. Wait, you want you no, wanted to watch? It, oh, you, okay. I feel like it probably looked like the visuals are probably like crazy. It looked super nice, including like yeah, it had like surround sound too. Dude, that's why I want my own theater, somehow. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, somehow. I don't know. I think I'd be better off becoming like really rich and then just buying off a theater company, and then just like ask them to play like one, like and just like one of the rooms. I'll just ask them to play like one like movie or like just whenever whatever i want for like the week <laughs> but just leave one movie on yeah like actually recently 
like the theater here like they just like played et again e. just like yeah i don't know like there wasn't really like a reason why but it's just because it's a classic so like you can actually watch et like you were there back in the day which is kind of hype huh our, our my movie theater doesn't really i know it does it literally it, wait no like, i live no it did because literally the other day it, it uh i went to the movie theater and it was reshowing Coraline. Kind of funny enough. Oh my and God. Coraline. I was like, I was like, oh Coraline? Because I think it was like I think it was like an anniversary for like for the movie or something like that, I forgot. I kinda wanna watch it again and see if it terrifies me as much. <laughs> it definitely It'll will bring back like past trauma. No, it definitely will, because I I rewatched it like a like a few like a few months ago and I was like, Yeah, this is scary. But I'm 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 all down for for the scariness. Well we have like every Halloween we have a family tradition, right? Where we watch uh, Donnie Darko every Halloween. I don't know if you've seen that movie. I haven't. <laughs> it, it's pretty popular-ish, I think. But it's a it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I'd recommend. We yeah. do we do that same. I we do the same thing, but mm-hmm. for um, Christmas and the movie Elf. Oh, Elf! I I used to do that quite a bit. I I, I think watch it like four Christmases in a row. I I watch it every every single Christmas, and it's always like yeah. so funny. <laughs> Dude, that was a goat. Yeah, it was so so funny. Like he should have been in the Minecraft movie. Mike, oh boy, Will Ferrell. Will Fer- he, Do you think he'd be a better Steve? He'd be Steve, dude. <laughs> dude. He'd be such a bad Steve. It's it's great. You want a bad Steve, or you want a good Steve, though? Okay, I was thinking about it. Right? Mm-hmm. They brought back, or like you know how they have like, what's his name? The the main actor. Uh, perceive the main popular dude I, I forgot his name oh jack black <laughs> yeah jack so black. They, they got jack black right mm-hmm. they, they have like i feel like they should like i feel like they need to find like some new actors for like the new generation because like you know like well, for our generation we know all these people but then like the next kid generation they're gonna still like know these people and then they're gonna die and then who's left okay well i can think of a few we have, mm-hmm. we have, um, Layla, she's, one, she's in one of, she's in the Minecraft movie herself. I don't know, it's, her name's like, Emma something, but she plays, mm-hmm. she plays in Wednesday. Oh, she's in, wait, she's the main character? She's not in, no, she's not the main character. She's oh. like, she plays as the okay. friend, the friend of Wednesday. Uh-huh. But also Jalen Ortega, she's also one of them, she's, she's young, she's like. Yeah, she, she's like, she's, the, I feel like she's like the biggest up and coming recently. Yeah, and then she's like being played in everything, and then also including the freaking uh, Beetlejuice too. She's playing in that. Yeah, did, did you watch Beetlejuice or no? I haven't watched the uh, I haven't watched the first one. I might. I, I'm I watch actually want to watch the original. Yeah, I need, I need to watch the first one because because I think I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch the second one with my dad soon when it comes. I think it's already out. Maybe maybe this maybe this week is out or maybe next week. But, no, 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 it's out. The new Beetlejuice. Oh, okay, then yeah, I I thought I'll watch the first one. Well, so like we or like my family, me and my mom basically, <laughs> have been watching like a lot of like throwback movies that I've just never seen, but like like mostly like eighties stuff and nineties, and Loki those movies kind of banged harder to me. Like like what? Like <laughs> we watched like uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, yeah. I'm like yeah yeah that one's a banger. <laughs> that one's a banger. And then we've been watching, like, I can't, like, name all the movies, but, like, we've been watching all, like, the like the same director who made that one. He had, like, he had, like other really good movies, too. Oh, okay. So he, he just directed, but, he directed those movies. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to do. I like to watch, like, a good movie and then just, like, look at, like, all the director's stuff. Because then usually it's also a banger. Yeah. I, I, I would see what you mean. I usually just watch, uh... I just, I'll just watch whatever, honestly. And sometimes I just watch just the same watch thing. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. My, like, what, what, what would be the oldest movie I've ever watched? It's like, Have you seen anything in black and white? Yes, but I think it was in school. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I count that. <laughs> oh, you talk about, like, like, worst. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I don't think I've watched something in black and white then, honestly. Yeah, I haven't either. Or, like, I guess, like, you technically have, but. I haven't like even in school or anything. I probably don't even remember honestly. I probably like the thing. I, yeah. The oldest thing I remember watching was probably like freaking the old Mario movie. The old 
Oh, are you talking about the ones where they're like in New York? Yeah, they're actually in New York or something. Yeah, like that. <laughs> they're and they're acting. like the acting is like really kind of like questionable at best. Do you know why it's like bad acting? No, no. They're they're drunk while acting. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I love that those like movies when I was younger. <laughs> they were so good. I loved them. I loved them. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> I was, and then like freaking all the characters were, like freaking Yoshi was like weird. Goomba was like, what the freak? <laughs> it's like, Dude, that... Yoshi's like, Yoshi has some like interesting like iterations of character. <laughs> like he's just he's just like different all the time. It was like one of the animated ones. I think it was like Mario Super Mario Six. No, I I can't remember the titles of the Mario shows. The Super but I Mario. like the one where Yoshi was like always like kind of scared and he's like long. He's got like that high pitched voice where he sounds like a little kid. The Super Mario Super Show. It's probably, that's the only time. Yeah, only Super thing Mario I, Super. Super Mario Super. I I is that the one with Mama Luigi? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, because that's the only that's the only thing I can remember for for Yoshi. Mm-hmm. This was no, I like that Yoshi. <laughs> he's like because he was like a little baby and like he yeah, like, he's like oh no Mario. <laughs> freaking uh here here what? oh no man. I, I I thought I had something. Uh, I have I had this, I have this thought. Um, okay. it li- so it says, so, so it says something like, "Do you ever have that?" There's one. Okay, one of the worst feelings I ever have is if I'm like gonna grab something, and it has it's like randomly mm. sticky or wet. I'm like, and that, that, oh, I yeah. I hate that feeling. I'm like, what what the freak? Why is it wet? <laughs> Why is it wet? Or like. Like, like you use it because I work in retail, and mm-hmm. uh, maybe like someone's like buying a I don't know some freaking a remote I don't know, and it's pa- it's package, yeah. and I'm so I'm like okay here I'll scan it for you so you don't know how to do it, and then I'm like why is it sticky? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? What did you do to this remote? <laughs> well, did you did you crazy. use the remote beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> They're claiming it. You, claiming it right away. Yeah, you can have it. I don't. I don't. I hate. I hate that feeling, because, or like, <laughs> or including after it rains, and then like, uh-huh. I don't know, something wet just does not feel right, unless I'm actually in the shower myself. Okay, I, I also hate that though. Why? Like, okay, or like, if you're ever washing your hands and then you get like your sleeve, like wet. And then you just like have to feel the wet sleeve. Oh yeah, I hate that. Like all your, <laughs> I you hate that. Roll, like you gotta roll like, up the sleeves or something. Yeah, that's literally what I do. I. Uh, but. Yeah. It's like it's like wet socks. I was just gonna say. Oh, I don't. Yeah, like when you just step in something. These, because there's been times where I just like think that there's like I go into the garage or something. I just think there's like no water or something, <laughs> and then I just step in something, and then, bam, up some wet socks. Oh, well, oh, there go, there goes that. But I was gonna say, the one good, like the favorite, my favorite part about rain, is I swear my favorite smell, is like wet pavement. Wet pavement. I never really smelled that. Just like, just like, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when it's rain, raining and you're like near an area that has like really like, just like, just like has the fresh pavement smell. You'll you'll be like, that smells good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never really had that, that, <laughs> that smell to me. Well, yeah. Some people like the smell of, like gas. I'm like, nah, I hate, I hate the smell of gas. Gas? Yeah, people like the smell of gas. I'm like, what? No. Smells- I hate the feeling of like scratching like metal. Like even the like thought of it, like it's like grosses me out. Uh, I'm like that, but when I, I it's I, like I'm, I'm like watching through reels or something, and I see someone like drag their freaking bare foot across like just like pavement floor. I'm like, ugh. I could feel no. it myself. You, it's or it's like yeah. Or you see someone like um. Yeah, like it's when you're like watching a video and then you see someone get hurt and like I feel hurt myself. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's I was like watching uh, a long time ago and I saw the the basketball dude, like he was like he was like mm-hmm. new and then he, and then he like, like broke his like, he broke something of like, like like someone someone his legs and I'm like. I could feel that, and now my legs hurt now. Oh yeah, especially when they go to like into deep detail, and like pictures, 
Yeah. That's why I like would never want to work in like the medical field in any way. Because like just seeing some of that stuff, like I don't know, I just don't like it. Yeah, that that's something that you have to. Yeah, be get get used to. Yeah, get used to because I'm not. I can't get used to that. He's like some of the like I don't know some of the videos like in I think it was middle school they like showed a full video of like like some sort of like surgery or some crap and I'm just like ugh just like thinking about it like on yourself it's just like uh, I don't know <laughs> no I'm the boss I don't want that it's I'm so glad I'm like uh I mean I think the worst surgery I had to do was like did I have to do any surgery I don't even remember how because I broke my nose one time. I don't think I had. You to broke your nose. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? I was I was in the playground, and then um, we, there's so when you get when you go into the playground, there's like lots of you know there's like pebbles, lots of pebbles, and it's like. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't even, I never can show like a picture. It's like the whole playground is just filled with pebbles, like rocks. Like the like the rocky. Yeah, I know you're talking about like those rocky playgrounds. Yeah. We had like one of like that, but with instead of pebbles, it was all wood chips. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you could, or that one too. Yeah, yeah. But so so those rocks get onto the playground itself, and then mm -hmm. one one time I slipped on those rocks, and I I landed straight down into the, oh. the stairs, and they and those first. The stairs. Yeah, the stairs. Oh, that sucks. I don't know. That gave me like a headache too. I I remember I remember that day like it was yesterday. Have you ever been in like under like anesthesia? No, not really. Like for a surgery or anything? No. Maybe maybe uh, I maybe I have. Crazy. I just don't remember. <laughs> dude, like it's literally like an instant. Like you're this like really weird piece of surgery, and they I was literally like awake right, and they're like they were talking, and the weirdest thing is like they were talking like kind of like how this like a friend group obviously talks. It's like how I met, like, how talking we normally. talk even, like, with, like, logic and whatnot. Oh, like, just, like, talking about random crap, like, in our day. <laughs> Start like, yapping. Just, like... Yeah, they're, like, they were just literally yapping, like, how, like, you'd imagine we would. And I was like, this is really weird. It's like, I mean, like, obviously they're real people because they're, like, <laughs> obviously that's just their job. But it was, like, they just, like, seemed like they were, like, such close buds. <laughs> but <laughs> Did you just they lost? were, like, talking to me and they're, like, uh, so are you, do you, like, do you feel tired at all? I'm like, nah, I'm, like, wide awake right now. And then there's the next thing I know, I'm just waking up. Like, in a completely <laughs> you different just room. teleported away. I literally did, and, my, and I was like, I saw my dad, I'm like, how long was I asleep? And he's like, oh, about uh, 20 minutes after he got back. And I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> but I literally just, like, instant transmissioned over there. That's so funny. It's, it's, it's kind of like when you, I, when you fall asleep and you just wake up the next day. Uh huh. Cause you don't really, ha you don't like, you don't like go through the whole sleeping animation. You or you just kind of just wake up. Well, that was was weird. Like with my job, because I'd be going to sleep at four, right? Yeah. My sleep schedule is so weird because, so how I would do it, right? I'd go to sleep at four p.m. <laughs> I'd set my alarm for like eight p.m. Okay. And then I would wake up at eight p.m. And then I'd stay awake for like eight p.m. to ten p.m. And then I go back to bed until like eleven to like two. And then Wait, like I had like a split like sleep schedule. And then I like go to work and I go home, like probably sleep for a little bit. But literally all I did in my day was sleep. It's like you with food, that's, but like only sleeping. That sounds sad. I mean, that's like it that's, was pretty sad. That's not, that's like kind of like that's that's kind of like my my schedule. But I mean, I I, guess I can. Yeah, your schedule is also kind of L. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. I literally. Uh, I literally just I wake up at eleven or twelve because I have a hard time waking up, and then like uh -huh. play like a game for like an hour or so, eat, and then get ready and then get go to work, and then I come home yeah. at freaking twelve around twelve fifteen, and then mm -hmm. do whatever else, and I just go I go back to bed. And it's like oh, and now I just repeat that. You just repeat it, yeah. Okay, but that's like, why. I... Yeah, yeah. Oh. So. I'm literally today I literally woke up at like freaking seven because my freaking dog mm -hmm. he he puked and it, it maybe wanted to puke so like I couldn't go back to sleep after that oh yeah but I actually woke up early and I actually got to do more stuff I'm like this is so nice I wish I could always just feel it, like it feels good right like waking up early because then it's like I don't know why the days just feel so long yeah I, I did so much stuff today 
but I but I wish like I could do that where I know what you're talking about where like you just have something happen in your morning where like before maybe you're like completely like so tired and then like just like jolts you awake. That's like happened to me. Like I remember it was, I was like waiting for a Smash tournament or like mm -hmm. there was a Smash tournament going on. I saw Shu Chong was playing. It was like Shu Chong versus Sonic, and he's about to win. I'm just, I'm just locked oh, in so now. Oh, so you just, you just <laughs> like, I'm wide, like, wide awake. awake. I'm wide awake now. Yeah. I, I thought you were talking about the moments where like you're you're about to fall asleep, and then like you get like a big shake up, a wake up. No, like you're no, falling no. down. No. no, like it's literally like just something happens in your day that just like locks you in. Okay. Yeah, I I've had stuff like that. It's yeah. I've usually had. Uh, I mean, usually I when, anytime I get sleepy, since I'm standing for like five hours or eight hours, yeah. I that's I'm that, that hurt just keeps me awake. I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. I I can handle this. Cause like, are you shoot like are you shoot or your shoes like are they good enough to like, do, are they comfortable enough to be standing so long or no? Um, there is I had white shoes that. Mm -hmm. That did not it. It felt horrible because I don't think it like. Yeah. It's definitely not meant to be. I'm not to stand on it for so long, but I wore, I did wear different shoes and it feels much better. So. Well, for me, right? Yeah. I was like standing, you know, making food, like walking around for like, eight nine hours, but I was like so stingy with my money that I was like, I'm not gonna invest in better <laughs> shoes. Like these shoes were like way too like too big for me, and like and I was coming home like my like my feet hurt so freaking bad. Is it like all blistered up? So oh no! Like I'm, I'm not paying another hundred dollars just for better shoes. But <laughs> just I probably should have, honestly. I mean, I would, you, worth. would you get them for, for as just work shoes, or would you get them for just shoe shoes? It would just be like I because you have to have certain like anti-slip shoes for work, or like if you're like in the food stuff. So like you're not allowed to have any other like type of shoe. Oh, okay. There was. There was like a guideline. I remember I had a pair of anti-slip shoes like from Fred Myers, which is where I worked. And then I asked them, he's like, or I, was, I asked like the main employer, and I was like, will these shoes work? I bought these before. And they're like, uh, just make sure they're in the book. And I'm like, I'm just going to wear them. I'm not even going to check. I'm just going to like, there's no way they're like, there's look at my feet and they're like, yeah, I know those shoes aren't allowed. <laughs> I, I just wore them. <laughs> I was like, eh. I mean, who cares? You can you can buy like the memory foam stuff with a disc yeah. slipped into the shoes. Yeah, those are probably would have been better. It's it's hard for me to get to wear like certain shoes and slash slippers. It's because because mm -hmm. I have flat feet, and most of them are like they're not flat. They're like kind of like this because feet are like this, but mine are like yeah. this, and so it's just like it's kind of like if it, if it's like this. Like this, and my with my flat feet, it's gonna hurt. I'm like, oh, this hurts. I but I can. There's also a That's thing crazy. to get to fix that, but mostly I just have to just get shoes with flat tops, mm -hmm. I guess. That's probably pretty rare because I didn't even know you could have like perfectly like flat feet. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know you became perfectly flat flat feet. My family makes fun yeah. of me for it. I'm like, look at your look at your like... flat flat feet. <laughs> I'm like a gecko, <laughs> like just because I just <laughs> just. Like stick them to well, stuff. Mine's probably especially worse because I literally like, I usually walk on my tippy toes, especially like with running too, which is actually apparently the optimal running form you for long distance. Your like you're supposed to run on your like, your tippy toes. Wait, what? So you like, like, like do you like go like this? I guess like <laughs> no, like so like you land and then you like, like that. Oh wait, what? <laughs> that makes sense. I feel like that like would you hurt step your toes. On your top of your toes, and then you just like flatten it while you like. Go to the next one, you know. Okay, I don't know. I feel like that would just hurt your toes. I uh, mean, maybe it's always been natural for some reason. It's probably like sprinting will hurt your toes, but I don't know if it's about running. I ever no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like that's what I do if I'm going full speed too. Okay, so okay then. Like no matter what, that's I'm... what I do. <laughs> maybe I do do that. It might not I just be a good idea with you, do, though, because you literally have flat feet. I have flat feet, so it doesn't. It's... I don't know how that would work. Like just tippy toeing around. I'm gonna like I'm gonna try. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, oh that, that, that goes mine. Yeah, my toes. Instead of it being like a wave, yours would be like a <laughs> diagonal. Because <laughs> it wouldn't like, it wouldn't curve. It's, yeah. I'm going to flabber my gas, dude. But, but going back to the sensitive touches, right? Yeah. 
All right, it was a big deal at my work because there was so my coworker, right? They just couldn't touch cardboard, and literally, like all of our stuff we got was in cardboard, and they just hated the feeling of cardboard. So I was just like constantly having to grab things from them. <laughs> so like I just I just can't touch cardboard. I'm like that's fair. I wonder, that's fair. I wonder why. That's, that's... Yeah. I mean, I've seen I I kind of seen stuff like that. My like few of my aunts do not like candles, and they would not be near one if they see one. Oh, yeah. But that's kind of like a different topic. Like different topic. She's like afraid of it. I'm like, what? I'll just have I'll just have one over and like, hey, look at this. And then she's like, get that away from me. I'm like, okay. I like candles, but I feel like I don't know. I just don't like the risk into them. Like if you're like home, like. I don't know if you, as long as you're careful, obviously. I mean, do you, but, you only need it up for like one or two hours and you just blow it out? Hmm. Well, that's why I usually just have those like uh, like I have those essential essential oils, and then you just put it in like the diffusers. Oh yeah, yeah. I usually just use those. Yeah, and that that's that's pretty easy to use. What's yeah? What's like your favorite type of scent for a candle, or just for, for a some, candle, or just a scent, or just in general? Yes, yeah. yeah. I like pumpkin smell. Pumpkin? I like fresh. Yeah. But, like, my problem with pumpkin is it makes me want a pumpkin pie, and then I'm like, damn. Ah, uh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, can't, can't do that. That's why I think it's so cruel that they make some things, like, food-flavored. Like, food smell. <laughs> like, freaking like, soap, right? I had a soap that just smelled, like, perfect, like, pumpkin pie. And I'm just like, this is so cruel. Why would they do that? <laughs> why would they make it, like, or, like, lemon pie or some crap? I mean, why'd you make it? My favorite, like my favorite type of scent is like anything watermelon. Oh yeah. But it wouldn't make it doesn't make you want to have a watermelon though. It just, it just smells no? good. Yeah, I feel like watermelon's more fresh too though, so it's not like watermelon's more like a like the scent of watermelon is more like not something that you just like want watermelon for. I feel like it's more like a feeling, I guess, if I can put it in a way. I I think it's because watermelon you don't really smell watermelon that much. <laughs> Kind yeah, of, I really don't. You just kind of just eat it, the juice, and it gets sticky. I think I'm allergic yeah, to watermelon. Yeah, that's, that's like the wonder. You're allergic to watermelon? I think I am. I don't know. No. Oh. I don't know. Every time I eat it, if if like, if it gets like um, around my lips, it gets really itchy. But I have to eat a good amount of watermelon for it to be itchy. So I don't know if that's like... That's crazy. Yeah. But I don't know if that's like allergic or something else. Just the more water watermelon you eat, the more red you get, like a carrot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I heard I, like so. Apparently, carrots do make you more orange, but I've heard like you have to eat like a crap ton of carrots. Yeah, you have to eat a good amount, but like like you have to like make that your diet. I mean, like that's like carrots are like good good for like that one moment, but not like. I'm going to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I, I should try a carrot again, because the last carrot I've had, I just... I threw up. <laughs> was but it I was at like, Gunkrell? I was like nine. <laughs> no, that was a different story. That was a different story. <laughs> Gunkrell was crazy, though. Never been back. Never been back ever since. Never been back. I've went to lots, but, lots of Gunkrell, and... I'm, yeah. I'm tired of it, but I can, just, I can go back to it. It's not that bad for me. <laughs> What's your Golden Corral? Like... Uh, dish, I guess. My favorite Golden Corral dish, dish is, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like pork something. It just... So you go for the fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, you, I mean, if you go to a buffet, you want to go for the expensive stuff. <laughs> I just go for the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, apparently that's like the strategy because they do try to like get you with like the breads. Like a lot of places. They say like, not don't eat the breads because... They don't want you to eat all the, like the expensive stuff. Oh, because it's like because bread's like filling. Yeah, bread's apparently like really filling, but the problem is, is like the bread's like genuinely my favorite part, even more than like meat. So <laughs> I'm kind of so at a loss there. So that's why in Olive Garden they just make you just munch on the on the bread. Well, yeah, dude, I love I love Olive Garden. It's great. Yeah, I, love, I just get the gnocchi soup, and then I just have uh, I just get like the imp or you know the breadsticks are pretty much infinite. I'm pretty sure. So I just like dip it in the soup, and then I just that's like perfect. A lot for of me. people do that. I'm like, I mean, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's literally a breadstick, so 
I think that's what they're for. Right? I I guess. I you gotta I, dip it in song. I, I learned about uh the breadsticks is they don't actually make it, it's they're frozen and then they heat it up. Yeah, I I believe it hundred <laughs> percent. But it's still good. Like I'm going I'm still gonna yeah. eat like it's chips. Mm-hmm. Like chips? Is it crunchy? No, no. Is like it, eating, like that's like a that's like a saying because like, eat like eating like chips. Like you could just eat it all. Like keep eating them. It's like I've never heard that. You know, like did he make it up? Did he make it up? You know? <laughs> I, people people will know. know. People people will know. It's like if something like I don't think so. Eat it like chips. I mean, well, like well, like if you go, I get the idea, but it's like it's like um. Snacking. It's like if you're eating, I don't know, like fried chicken, I guess, if, and then like <laughs> someone, and then some, so like, bro, you're eating so much of it. You're he, he's he's eating like chips because <laughs> he's eating so much because like chips you can pretty much eat endlessly and um, unless yeah. you're out of the chips. Nah, <laughs> I don't know. I've 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 said it like that, so I don't... I'm sure there's at least one other person who said it besides you, but. I don't think that's mainstream. <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna be a lot of comments like, "Yeah, I've never heard that before." You I think mean that's that gonna be everybody, buddy. Nah, nah. Someone's, yeah. someone definitely, like, definitely heard of it. I feel like there's just so many random sayings, uh, like. Break a leg. I feel leg. like you can. There's like, if you like, yeah, you're like break a leg, but like, I feel like you could like passionately like, just like say something like you just like don't even like. You just bring it up in a conversation, like so you're just like, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> it's just a normal saying everybody says. Uh, my favorite ones is like, I I still say it to this day is like when, um, something super far. I'm like, what the heck? Why is this thing all the way in China? Or it's like all yeah. the, all the all the way in freaking Djibouti or something. I'm like, <laughs> that's gotta be one of my favorite ones. I I say. Well, I remember, I thought AFK meant like Africa, <laughs> like going to Africa. He's, he's, <laughs> He's a like, he's Africa. Africa. He's Africa. <laughs> he's Africa. He's Africa. I think I've made that call out before. He's Africa. What a freak is is Africa? <laughs> Where's Africa? Tomato. No. What's what the freak is tomato, bro? It's tomato. I mean, that, that's literally what I mean too. Like, like you could just say something confidently, like tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomatoes. Tomatoes real now, but you know. That is true. Um, yeah. What, I ha oh shoot! I'm gonna lose my train of thought. Um, yeah. Freaking, what is a okay? So there is a there's like an a funny insult I always wanted to use, but I can never think of it in the moment. And sometimes when I do remember the moment, I just or and when I remember to say it, I just there's I never find the moment for it. It's when calling someone a Neanderthal. I think that's really funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I was talking about this the other day too. Yeah. Well, I was like. It's like supposed to be an insult, obviously, right? Yeah. But like, I'm pretty sure they're probably pretty smart. Like, I mean, I guess not smart enough to go to go extinct, but I think they're like, I think they probably they might have been smarter. I mean, we don't even know. I mean, like IQ wise, if they made it out, probably they could probably they could probably replace us. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, some people are literally like five percent ne Neanderthal and crap. So, <laughs> like, you can get like get your like ancestry test, and it's like. It's Some five. of them say like three percent, two percent. I I remember I saw a streamer and his was like five percent. I'm like that's honestly a pretty good, that's a pretty high amount. It's, what what that do you think that's five percent is too much or too little? Five percent is a lot, honestly. <laughs> What's like the perfect percentage of Neanderthal to be? <laughs> this sounds like a different conversation from before, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, probably probably a solid one percent. A solid yeah, one. That's... Claim... You can claim your heritage. But... Okay, well, I'm gonna reference the the last one. I feel like that's. I feel like if you say one, that's that's like you're lying though. That, that's, that's I'm one percent Neanderthal. Yeah, two percent then. Two percent. <laughs> that was my answer to the last one. Two percent. Okay, it's like it's, it's enough where you're proud of it, but it's not like it's not like you know you're all ne Neanderthal. You know, it's like it's like when people say like I'm I'm two percent two percent black. So I could say yeah. the word, but but they're just not. <laughs> yeah. Because they had that like. Or they're just like everybody came from Africa. <laughs> what? I've seen that one. I've seen that. I've one. never seen someone like that. You know? No. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's like, or it it's like the thing where people say like everybody is related to us because like we're 
kind of like made by the same thing so we're, we're kind of all related somehow yeah technically but like what does that make your actual like closely related people like you're they're, actually like brother and sisters they're, we have blood like related, related and then related <laughs> yeah, but there's also blood related no? <laughs> Uh, At one point, kind of blood. <laughs> I forgot what the statistic was, but I think it was like, I think you need at least ten different people to like repopulate the whole earth. Ten different people? Oh, yeah, it's over. Yeah, <laughs> it's over, dude. I mean, technically, if it started with two, if yeah, if it started with two, then start with two. They they had to they had to go they had to go hard. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the thing is, is there's different. There was also the Neanderthals. <laughs> yeah, they 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 went they went off too. And apparently, <laughs> I love the idea. Of it. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> but obviously, they're all mixing, so M mixing you know. and matching. Oh no! <laughs> making making new yeah. making new flavors. Oh, I don't I don't like how I said flavors. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's probably how it how it happened. I wouldn't recommend taking any history from this. <laughs> uh yes, definitely. I don't I don't know that much that much history. I, know... I used to really like history class, so I mean, it's my favorite class. I don't know about you. Science. Science. You suck. What? What? What's wrong with science? That's like the. That's like the like that's like an Asian kid answer, dude. No, Asian Asian answers math. <laughs> Dude, it's the same subject. I All mean, like yeah. both of them. So I mean, I mean, they both. I mean, science does have math in it, so I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. I know, just it like does. doing the science part. I mean, when one of my favorite science classes were was marine biology, and we literally like dissected animals and like sharks and stuff. I'm like, yeah, this is this is cool. The sharks. Like mini sharks, like that's crazy. But not like, not like big sharks. It's just like little baby sharks, baby shark, baby, <laughs> baby shark. I don't know, but I remember it's like it'd be like too much for me. Like I remember my dad went through like nursing school and crap, right? Mm -hmm. And like he had to like actually dissect like a cat. I'm like, like they like there's like some wild stuff that they make you dissect. Nah, bro, I can't. I can't do. Funny. I can't do pet animals. That's like how I can't eat pet animals, even if I'm Asian. Yeah. Even if I'm Asian, <laughs> but like I can't, oh, I can't do, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, oh. I agree. <laughs> I, know, I, I just agree. feel bad. And like, bro, we like, we like, get, like take care of them. We, we love them, yeah. and, then, and then after that, we're gonna freaking dissect them, eat them. <laughs> well, I mean, I I saw like in India, their McDonald's is literally like only like chicken. Like they have chick like instead of like the Big Mac, it's like a chicken mac. Because they don't eat cows there. So they only so oh, they so only just have, put they chicken just replace instead. all the like meat with chicken. So so when so how so they're all just mixed chickens then with the extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I guess. But it's like McChicken Big Mac and stuff. But I I asked my uh my sister's boyfriend because he went to India somewhere recently. I was like, was it good? And he's like, honestly, it was really good. <laughs> I was like, okay. I like chicken, so it's fair. It's fair. Hmm. Here. Chicken's definitely at least my favorite meat, but Same same here. I would I would say it's my favorite yeah. meat. And then well, uh I don't know what I would say like a close second. I would I'd say it's I would just say number one Wait. is chicken. Yeah, but like the chicken, that's so much. What what type of chicken? Mm. Is it like fried, grilled. Oh, fried. I mean, everything fried is just good, right? Yeah, that's true. You, you can never go wrong. Like, with what fried. name a bad fried thing? Uh, fried. It's impossible. Yeah, I don't know. Like this, like I mean, other than like the health reasons, you know, but like I tried a fried Oreo. It was good. Yeah, but that's good. yeah, yeah. Fried oreos are good. I I made them myself too. So I'm like, yeah. you made them? Yeah, I made them myself. They're, they're not the hard. Were they hard? No. No. You kind of just like take, is it just like you put an Oreo? You and... put an Oreo in batter and then you uh -huh. you just deep fry it and there you go. 
<laughs> that sounds really easy. Yeah, he's and like better. I feel like okay. How much would you sell that for if you were like making that? Um, like a dollar, a dollar an Oreo. <laughs> dollar an Oreo. Yeah. Uh, I, well, so like the one that I got, it was like eight bucks and thirty cents, and then you know you gotta, you gotta do the guaranteed tip. So. Well, how how many Oreos were there? Is like, was it like two? Six Oreos. Six Oreos. Okay, that's not bad. But yeah, yeah, six Oreos. Six Oreos. So how much would that? That's a pretty fair price. So how much would that be like? Let's see. Let's You're see. the math guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's like eight. You said eight thirty. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so eight thirty, and then you like divide that by six. It's like um, it's like a dollar thirty cents for each Oreo. That's. I mean, that's probably. Okay. Is that really a dollar? I get. I guess. Yeah, around around dollar thirty, a dollar thirty, thirty. I mean, you get like 40. a whole pack though, and then that's like six bucks, <laughs> right? For like the giant, like just like all of it. I oh yeah okay yeah that's in that case. But, you know the prices the prices in general are pretty crazy so. Inflation. It is what it is. Inflation. Okay okay. I was I was gonna say. What, what what's up with your recommendations? Because I've been there in there. Okay. There's some misses in there. Okay, so so Lark he's always like he's always like your recommendations are bad. I'm like, I recommend my my favorite game, and this uh, an anime that I like. And it's not only, it's not even like one of my favorite animes. It's something an anime I like. But he's, his problem is like they're so old. I'm like, okay, what's wrong with old? <laughs> he. I mean, Dora is only like four or five years old. Well, not that old. well, that he just said that was, that's just bad. He just said, he, yeah. But I, I I recommended Chrono Trigger the video game and Yu Yu Hakusho. They're both like, like yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho was pretty old. They're like nineties, and he's like, oh, they're, they're really they're old. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you're old. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you're... I think I think he just has a problem with old stuff. Because <laughs> well, I was like, I was thinking like I I was like. Why didn't you just recommend him Hunter Hunter? But then I'm like, oh wait, you actually haven't even seen it. <laughs> but yeah. I was just thinking that because it's basically like kind of the same thing as Yu Yu Hakusho in a way, but like a bit different, obviously. Like pretty, like quite different actually. But it's like same same dude who made it, same creator. So okay, it's like somewhat similar like ideas. Same cook. <laughs> same same cook. Maybe my same cook. Same cook. <laughs> they're, they're, they're both as good. Oh yeah. Did it ever yeah. finish? Which one? Hunter Hunter? No. Dang. I mean, so like the anime ended where you could just be finished. Okay. Like, it actually has a really good ending if you're just like... So basically they had a perfect ending, but they just decided to add more of like a cliffhanger if you're like really still invested. But like, if you want to say the story ended here, it literally could have. Because like, everything's resolved in a way in a way <laughs> but it it, it could have ended if they wanted to okay i see i see but now it's like going on forever and then it just, and now it's like it's like what these well they the the creator literally like he posted his like all his notes for like how the show should end and whatnot i'm pretty sure and he's like i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to like be alive when, they, when I like to finish this show, so I'm gonna have somebody else probably to have to do it or something. Let let him. I'm let like, damn. Someone else cook. Yeah, pretty much. Because I was like, that sucks. If if I was like, a like, a writer and I made like a really long show, one of my, one one of, one of my fears would be, literally to like, to die without even finishing the show. Yeah. You wait. You say you would want that, or you? Wouldn't? I would. I wouldn't want that. It's kind of like, yeah. like uh, Toyama, like rest in peace. But like, mm -hmm. I what happened is like he he didn't even I don't think I don't even think Dragon Ball's finished. But and, but he's but he but he died. Yeah, I'm super like, still going. Yeah, still going. But I think it has like a good amount of stuff that they can go off of. Because I think it's I super's could going. Could be again. wrong, but I'm pretty sure they've had a different writer anyway. Oh, they have. I, I, I'm, or at least I'm pretty sure there's somebody who's like been pretty close to him at least, who's like, 
been writing with him or something in some way. So I think he's probably taken over or whatever. Imagine if Oda takes over for Dragon Ball. <laughs> he could have. <laughs> the art style wouldn't have worked, though. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he, I don't know Different if he draws arts. or not. Mm, no, I think he does. I think he does. He does? <laughs> he's the one who did the gigantic change between the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Well, they're actually getting a remake, so. What is? One Piece. Yeah, it already. I think it already started. I think. Really? I don't know. I think it did. It'd probably take a while for it to get to now. Because like, so you've been watching the show, obviously, right? Yeah. Are they in like considered new animation wherever you're at, or is it still pretty old looking? It, it's uh, definitely on the new animation. We're not okay. even like time skip. We're we. Just, it is new animation. It, it's not. Like it's actually like, uh. Was it re was it resolution or? Uh, I guess like. Yeah, like it's not square. Nineteen twenty. Like it's, it's not, not like it's not square. It's rectangle now. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Okay. How many episodes do you think it took for that to happen? It literally took. One is water. One is the water seven, because that's that's the when it's because that's when uh it start to looking not like. Better. Yeah. Well, I guess, like, better in a way. Because, honestly, like, some of the older animation also has, like, its own charm in a way. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, two, 227, uh, 263, that's when that, that's when it started, the, the anime, or, yeah, the animation started getting, started to look different. So, get rid of uh, a lot of the filler, and then maybe they can catch up somewhat fast-ish, ish. I, yeah. I think they could probably do it in like a hundred episodes. I don't know how much they're changing. Like what? Like what yeah. are they? What are they gonna change? Are Are they gonna like do like the Netflix adaptation where they do like one, uh, one arc or? Did you ever watch that? Yeah, I did. Or no? I did. You did. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not like the best did you thing. Feel like the characters kind of looked like um, how you'd imagine them to look, or no? Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. I know, I I kind of want I kind of want uh uh I like I like I like the Usopp actor but I feel like I wish they gave him like a big nose. <laughs> he well, doesn't, apparently he doesn't I think people a want a gun or something. You didn't, they didn't, they want him gone. Yeah, they want the nose gone. They want the nose. Oh, they want the nose gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because he's like his whole this whole shtick is lying. So lying his like his whole shtick is that he has a shtick. He has a stick for a nose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, was uh, was your favorite character in there, in the in the live action? No, not yet. We're, yeah, not yet. But I think that in season two probably because that's literally the next, literally the next um uh, arc that, yeah, that's that should be the next arc that's that's coming up. So, how high expectations do you have for the character to look? How um, you imagine? <laughs> uh. Hi, I guess. Hi, okay. First, I jump. Bro, 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 make me act up, bro. <laughs> no. For context, it is yes, Nico Robin. So, yeah. I. It's funny because I I like watch like some like behind the scenes stuff, and I swear some of the characters act like act like the One Piece characters, like IRL. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Like, who would you be? Who would I be? Who would you be? I have what no... One Piece character would you be? Uh, Luffy, because he eats. He eats, yeah. That's the only. That's the only that I could think of. Who would I be? Uh, also Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> We're both Luffy. Because yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't see us as any other character. Maybe it's, uh, probably someone will see me as Sanji since I'm a simp, but you know. Oh yeah, Sanji. I forgot about him. <laughs> Also, I feel like, I feel like Law has some Sanji vibes, but like, like only in some parts, some... not the sim part, but like, I'm... he's like supposed to be the adult figure. Um, I, I, I see that more as I, okay, I, okay. The adult figure would be um, hmm. I think I guess Robin's more of the adult figure. She like takes care of the whole kind of the whole <laughs> the whole cast. But saying, right, so loved Robin. But yeah, but saying he's Robin, it, I know he's gonna take it like, 
Why are you why what are you what are you trying to say there, Bert? What are you trying I mean, to say? You there? did also call him Misty, so <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant though. <laughs> you really got frame trapped on that one. I did, I know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. That was rough. That was rough. But he's now Robin and Misty. He's like, oh wow, he just want he just wanna bang me. I'm like, no. I just I, that's just personality wise, that's probably how which <laughs> how he acts. <laughs> Strawberry would be like Chopper. Chopper? No buds would be like Usopp. Yeah. And. <laughs> Hands up, yeah. And then. Cade would be like. Who would Cade be? We, 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 he, asked him, he asked that like a while ago who would he be? And he, there was like. The, someone, someone called him Sanji, and I said, you could also be Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the worst possible character for him to be? Uh, or for him to be, or to uh, for anybody to be? For anybody to be. Um, probably Brooke. All right, Cade, you're Brooke. Screw you. <laughs> you know, you know. I know. Well, Screw you. Well, Brooke's whole thing is he's a he's a skeleton, but you think there's there's Sanji who's a simp, and there's Brooke huh. who's a pervert. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see. Like his his, I guess it's, I guess it's like a I guess it's like a spoil thing spoiler. This the mm -hmm. first time they were seeing him, he's, he goes up to Nami and goes, "Can I see your panties?" And then Nami's like, "What the freak?" And then, um, That's definitely Cade. That is definitely <laughs> Cade. I can confirm. Can't can confirm. He was talking about his Riz earlier, and that's basically what he was saying. So. His that's, Riz is, that's not you, Cade. His, I hope you regret your episode. His his Riz is like, can I see your panties? I I would love to, I'd love to get in, get in there. And Skull Skull would be Skull would be uh, Zoro. Skull would be Zoro. Zoro, I, I guess because Zoro always does his own thing. He gets lost, and yeah. he sleeps a lot. Yeah, I don't know. If Skate, <laughs> Skull sleeping. sleeps a lot. Yeah, he, he just goes over to play Vermintide, so. That's this. That's that's the same thing. Sleeping, sleeping a lot, and vermintide a lot. Yeah. Okay, but uh, going to the next topic, right? Yeah. I, I was talking. I already like brought this up briefly, but uh, like you were saying that you might be getting new roommates. So like. Oh yeah. What do you think is like? What do you think would be your perfect like roommate? Okay. Situation. <laughs> like, what do you expect from a roommate? Okay, so. So I'm, I'm going. I'll go a little detail with it because. My aunt, she used to live with her friends, and uh -huh. she said it was like one of the worst things ever because they would not clean the house. And dude, it's so risky just like rooming with a friend. Like it might like yeah, you break your image of them. Yeah, because like you don't know if they're clean. You don't know if they're like messy. You don't know if they like they'll just bring someone home. Yeah, there's like a friend I really like, but I just like he does not like seem like the type of person I'd want to room with, but. Who knows, you know, who knows. Yeah, because, like, I'm thinking of rooming with my cousins. I th I can trust them of being clean. I mean, I can't, mm -hmm. I can barely trust myself of being clean, but, uh, <laughs> as long as they're clean and they, they can, like, do the dishes. I think that's, that's, mm -hmm. I think that's one, like, one of the big things. If you can do the dishes, I mean, I literally, I, I talked about this to, to my cousin. I'm like, if we're going to get our own house, we, we're, we're going to have to make a, like, either get lots of paper plates or they were we, go crazy. Yeah, they do go crazy. Or you, uh, we have to wash the dishes or something. Like, and then she was like, "Okay, yeah. well, I, I would just wash their own dishes." I'm like, okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, but so like, the so for rooms, right? It's like if if you have your own room, it doesn't matter how dirty it is to me. If it's like kitchen, like everything that's like public area, like bathroom, kitchen, like like kitchen or like living room. It should just like be like generally like it doesn't have to be like super like spotless clean or something something but like it has to be like presentable should, like there shouldn't just be like clothes or something yeah like the towel on like the couch <laughs> yeah or some crap I I see what you mean like it has it has like you can literally just like you can bring someone over and be like I can I can present this to somebody and like and then it's yeah I'm not be embarrassed that like why is there a freaking uh why is Nami's panties right here right like, <laughs> Not again. It's <laughs> not again. Going back to it. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> That's you, kid. That's you. That's you. <laughs> no, but I, I understand what you mean. I understand. 
Um, there's some standards there. There's some standards. That would be really awkward if you were. You're like trying to impress a girl. <laughs> and you see someone else's. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I think another thing hey. is yeah. the bathroom. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I do not want to like. I want a clean bathroom. I don't want to like. I don't want to like do business or like clean, like take a shower in a dirty bathroom. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, Ugh, ew. Ew! I don't know. I'm, I'm not even a clean freak. I'm not even a clean yeah. freak. Yeah. But, like, I just like stuff relatively clean. There's just, like, a modern or, like, a general, like, amount that should be, like, clean, I guess, is the way. But yeah. It, yeah, I see. Like, you shouldn't be going to the bathroom and then just, like. And I don't know. I mean, you just hear the freaking. I can't even think of anything, but. The creepy. Not creepy ones, like. The the planking. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's literally like the public bathroom amount where you're like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you do this, but like, I just like sit down paper towels if I have to like sit down in the public bathrooms. Oh, he's like, I don't want to just like sit on a public bathroom. Yeah, I see. Like, what you mean. I mean, I try to, I try to just like as much as possible. I try not to. The only thing I want to do is just pee yeah. in the public bathroom. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Do anything else. Literally, I I try to like avoid that for so long. At least like, oh, like my public public school years in crap. Like, uh. <laughs> uh, uh, do you have like this problem with like peeing when there's others around? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, but it depends. Like, if it was like fully like, even if like I could hear people, it'd be like as long as it's like enclosed, I guess, then it's fine. Yeah, but, when it's like, like when it has a blocker. Like, yeah, but if it's like just literally like somebody like right next to you, it's just like, weird. like I, yeah, I have to, I have to like wait. It doesn't want to come out. It's like yeah, take your time out. This is kind of yeah. awkward. I mean, that's literally like a thing, though. It's literally like called like shy bladder or something. So okay, so let's say there's, let's say there's like three stalls, and then someone's right, someone's right here, someone's peeing right here, someone's peeing right mm -hmm. here, and this one's this one's open. Would you go that one to pee mm -hmm. or would you wait? <laughs> I just wait. You just, yeah, okay. I just wait, or if I if I can go to a stall, I'll just go to a stall. Yeah, oh yeah, just go or just go to a stall. Because I'm like I'm like I ain't going in the middle. <laughs> that's yeah, that's like, so weird. If I was one of the people on the sides too, I'd be like I'd be annoyed personally. I'm like, why are you saying why are you doing <laughs> right now? Yeah, the only time I would go is if it like if there's a blocker. Yeah, that's fine. But if it's like yeah. if it's just open, nah, bro, I can't. I gotta wait or go to a stall. Yeah. Well, honestly, the best bathrooms, though, are, like, I don't know if you, like, for example, because, like, I, whenever I go to Anchorage, this is, we always go here, but, like, Canes, they just, like, it literally, it just like, bathroom. the ones where you can just, yeah, it's literally just, like, you close the door, you lock it, and then yeah, that's, you just go to the bathroom. That's not bad, <laughs> but here's the thing. If you want to go, and someone else wants to go, and another person wants to go, you got to wait. <laughs> There's a whole line. You got to line up. You got to <laughs> line up, yeah. I mean, luckily, I've never actually, like, been in a line in public or something where I'm like, I have to go right now. I have to go time. so bad, yeah. Like, what do you do? Do you just like push through and you're like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> it's it's sorry. my turn now. I have it's my turn now. I at my work we like there's the there's the mm -hmm. there's the front restrooms like at the front like where the registers are and there's one in the very back, and that bathroom mm -hmm. like I do a lot of stuff there because like it, I kind of waste time there, <laughs> but um. That bathroom, you go inside there, it's a 50-50 mm -hmm. chance someone's going to be pooping there. And That's it, a pretty good chance. And it, Yeah, and it stinks so bad. I'm like, I go in, I'm like, oh, yikes, i got to pee, though. But then, and just, just quickly just walk out. I know that's going to be awkward for the last person. Like, they just look at you before you come in. <laughs> They're just like, forget oh. my face. <laughs> Forget I forget whatever you saw. Even though I think I think a lot of people honestly don't like care. Yeah, I think they kind of own it. They just they just have no, they just, yeah, just go it. They just do a it. lot of people no really bad. Like I mean, like I'm not saying they have to be ashamed, but like this is people with like a lot of bad like social cues. I feel like in general, just like you just talking to them and then it's just like I don't know, you're just like tapped out. I guess. I mean, I've had a lot of... It's hard for me to explain. I've had a lot of customers where I'll, they'll just, like, full-on roaster 
their 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 loved one or or something mm-hmm. about them. I'm like I'm like so, or or just themselves. I'm like I'm, they'll just go like sorry. I'm kind of slow. I'm like okay. You didn't need to say that. Well, or or something like sorry for my my wife. She she uh, she can be kind of kind of dense sometimes. I'm like all right. That's crazy. I'm like she, she, one time someone was like yeah. Yeah, you. She. You, uh, she. She had. She kind of got her own gravitational pull. I'm like, because she's so dense. I'm like, uh, yeah. What, what, what did I say? What did I say that? I'm like, I just laugh it off. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, I hate. Yeah, like, literally, like, I can't. There was like recently a time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've already talked about this in the life channel. If you know, you know. But uh, the when I was like, when somebody asked me if I was a freshman, right? So like, they were the same age as me, and I was like, oh no, I'm in college, and they're like, oh really? You must have really good aging genes, and I'm like, I, I was like, I was trying to think of like what I should say to that. I'm like, do I say thank you? Yeah. Or I, I just like, I just, said, I just kind of like lightly chuckled and said like, oh thanks, I try. I try. But I was like, I don't, I don't know what to say. That that is a what, like, what the freak do I say to that? So. Yeah, it's like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I mean, like yeah. I, but like I said, like, it, like, it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of nice to be thinking that you're younger than you actually like actually are like you, you like if you look hopefully at me... when i'm like 30 i could look like 25 or something exactly i'm i'm like i'm 20 i don't even look like i don't look 20 i don't know yeah maybe, maybe people think I, I look 20 but i in my opinion i don't look 20 i still look like i'm a teen and everybody everybody, everybody else in my work thinks I'm, I'm a teen 20 is a big word because it's like i feel like if you're like yeah i'm 19 it's like oh yeah that makes sense but then like 20 <laughs> it's, it's like, like a big like, jump it's a big yeah which is kind of funny to think about because i was like it's only like in english where you like even think about that because it's like a whole like different section of numbers right but like maybe in like a different language it's just like it's like how all the other numbers work you know like there's no such thing as like teens or anything it's just like um like like, 19 would be like the same like value i guess as like 20 it's like they don't actually change a word uh i forgot the numbers but in french you kind of just you kind of have to do math. <laughs> you have to uh-huh. add the number. You have to add like, like you like if you if you want to like, say fifteen. You have to say ten plus, plus five. So you're like Dude, 10 that'd be that'd be five. weird. <laughs> that would suck learning French and having to, having to do that. Get used to that. Yeah, it's just do math while saying a number. Like, <laughs> number. Mm-hmm. Just start multiplying your age. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you definitely would rather look probably younger as you, like for when you can, and then hopefully you'd like age well. Yeah, some people like in my age they already look like they're they're thirty, and and, and so when they actually hit thirty, they're gonna look like they look they look, they look like they're sixty. Is that just genetics, or like is that skill issue? I think that's. I think it's kind of it's kind of like both, because mm-hmm. some people look. They, some people look old because of stress, and so they they get wrinkly. Yeah, and, but some people just that's how this how they look. And you can't really... Well, there was like like I said like one time there was like a kid, who like in my freshman year, he like had a full like beard, and like, they, like this like this kid looked like he was literally <laughs> like in his twenties because he was also like kind of jacked, too. Oh, he worked an hour. So he looked like he looked like he was like way older. But honestly, I think if he like fully shaved and whatnot, he probably wouldn't look that old you know yeah <laughs> you probably... it, it still looked like he just looked like a teen but it, it's, it's just the facial hair and like the muscles he just looks yeah it's because, like the facial features like even you can't see them it's like you can't even tell really how old somebody is yeah some some people some people some people, some people will can look like they're freaking 25 and they're actually freaking 18 or some people look like mm-hmm. they're 16 and something they're actually like 26 yeah, that's if the GG go next. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's over. Nah. I I think with that over, I think I, I think that should be uh, a good stop in port for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we I think we've got talked about a, a good stuff. Uh, I like I like to thank you so much for watching or listening. If you enjoyed so, the first episode, yeah, of Gongu Gang. I think some Gongu of the Gang. I think some of the audio got messed up, but hopefully that. I, I I'll get it fixed soon or later. I have a better thank you editors. <laughs> yeah, I I think I have a I have a better logo fixing up. This is what we have right now for the for the logo. But I I actually have something else cooking up. 
So we're gonna we're gonna think of more more stuff uh, uh, in the next weeks. Um, so hopefully, what, I want to see what you guys what you guys thought. Uh, like like I said, uh, I'm thank you for watching. I'm I'm Bert. I'm Shep. And we'll we'll see you gombus later. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>